I'm going to ask what many people may consider to be the dumbest question ever. Why is the Bitcoin price important? Now, before you ridicule me and call me the laughing stock of crypto, hear me out. Today's video is something you're going to want to watch unless, of course, you're a cryptocurrency expert, which, spoiler, you're not. Let's get it. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto. My name is Ben. Every day I show you how to make money in cryptocurrency. If you like money, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now in this video, we're gonna be discussing why the Bitcoin price is important. This is part of a new series of videos I'm gonna be doing on this channel geared toward beginner and intermediate viewers. Now, if you're new to crypto and feel like sometimes you're lost when you're watching a news video or a tutorial video, make sure to tune into this playlist. In addition, guys, if you want all the beginner info packed in together, check out CryptoForDudes.com. This is my new cryptocurrency beginners course called The Regular Guy's Guide to Crypto. If you want to understand basic crypto and Bitcoin concepts and get better versed in the cryptocurrency culture, then you should give it a shot. It will help you to better understand the basics. But today's video is all about the Bitcoin price and why it is important. Now, of course, it's important so we can make money, but it goes deeper than that. You may hear traders or YouTubers talk about Bitcoin must hit $12,000 today or I'm bearish. Or they may say something like, if Bitcoin drops below 9,600, there will be blood all over the streets. Today, we're going to be examining why these numbers are relevant. What is the relationship between market direction and certain price points? Okay, so really what it all boils down to is support and resistance. These are the two most fundamental basics when it comes to technical analysis or Bitcoin charting. And understanding what these two things are, are pretty simple. According to Investopedia, the concepts of trading level support and resistance are undoubtedly two of the most highly discussed attributes of technical analysis. Part of analyzing chart patterns, these terms are used by traders to refer to price levels on charts that tend to act as barriers preventing the price of an asset from getting pushed in a certain direction. Now, we're going to look at what this actually looks like on a Bitcoin chart uh, here in a few moments. But all you got to really think about uh, is that support is where a price will bounce off of. Resistance is where it will hit up against. So the support is the lowest price that we expect an asset to go usually in the short term a resistance is a number that we feel like bitcoin will have a really hard time uh getting above so let's look very specifically at what support is according to investopedia support or a support level refers to the price level that an asset does not fall below for a period of time an asset support level is created by buyers entering the market whenever the asset dips to a lower price so basically exactly what we just said. Now resistance uh, or resistant level is the price at which the price of an asset meets pressure on its way up by the emergence of a growing number of sellers who wish to sell at that price. So every time the price goes up, let's say a trader on Twitter is talking about, hey, you know, we can't get above the $14,200 level. Well, the reason would be is because every time it hits 14200 sellers come into the market and they push the price down. Now, these are not just random numbers that people have decided upon, like picked out of a hat. There's very specific reasons for them. Um, you also have another set of numbers here, Fibonacci retracement levels. Uh, this is what some traders use to kind of get different numbers or price points. But this is a different day for a different video. But I want to make you guys aware of that. Sometimes these are where traders are getting their targets from. But I think we really need to focus on uh, support and resistance. So if we look here uh, on this chart that was on a, an article entitled, The Breakout in Bitcoin is Here, These Three Stocks Can Climb Higher. We're going to talk about the stocks. We're going to talk about the breakout. Okay, so what you'll see a lot of times on charts is you'll see draw, lines drawn in a diagonal pattern, you know, up, upper left to down right. And they'll try to do things like maybe hit the tops of candles or the tops of the wicks, which are these very pointy parts at the top. Um, but this is a very beautiful picture of resistance uh, that we just met with Bitcoin and passed because it is actually a horizontal line of resistance. You guys can see by looking at the chart, 
You see right here, 12,000. 12,000 was a number that we could not get above. Uh, there was one candle over here back in uh, uh, last year in July where we kind of peaked over it a little bit. Uh, but 12,000 to 12,500 is a very clear line of resistance. We've actually tried to get over it once, twice, three times, uh, and uh, this third attempt was a pretty long attempt. This was our fourth move trying to get above this resistance, and we finally did it. So now, because this candle, and we're not necessarily looking at the wicks, we're really looking at the candle bodies themselves, now that this candle body is above the resistance, you, the, the next goal is to turn that into support. We want to take this line, and instead of the numbers hitting up against it, the candles, we want it to be bouncing off of it, okay? So this is why traders will say things like, hey, once we get above 12,500, now we're in a breakout because now the price is breaking out. We're above the resistance. We don't have anything necessarily holding the price back. Well, kind of we do. So let's actually look at the weekly chart. The weekly chart for Bitcoin is much easier to look at than the daily chart. Nice, nice big candles here. Uh, the daily chart gets a little bit crazy. So now we're looking at the chart in real time here. So this back here would have been 2017 to 2018, the, the, the parabolic run up and then the crash down. Okay. This would have been last year when we did like a little fake out. A lot of people think it was because of the uh, plus token Ponzi scheme that pushed the price up. But now we are in the midst of a real move up. And I mean, look at that momentum. Look at all these green candles. We had a little bit of sideways action here um, after that happening. But now we have been on the way up. Okay, so we're going to draw a line here. You can actually go back here all the way to 2018 in February and draw this over. Now, it's not exact. The point is, when you look here in uh, August of this year, we were able to get above the $12,000 level, the $11,500 level. We weren't able to keep it, and that was important. Your daily chart and your weekly chart is going to look a little bit different, but here's the point. It's very easy to see that we have had a hard time around this level. We've been getting pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. Now we have charged above it, and we are well above this candle, or well above this line of resistance. So the question here becomes, what is next? We hit 13,200, we bounce back down. The 12.9 the level has been holding pretty strong. Well, we come over here and we look, we suddenly now have a new line of resistance according to um, these wicks right here. We draw a line from this wick from last year in July. To the one we just hit, you guys will see 13,200 is a very important level. So that is a price that is important for Bitcoin. We also can look at the next wick that wicked up, $14,000. And you can see that uh, right at 14,000, 13,900, we have another level that we're going to want Bitcoin to go up above. What happens after that? Well, that's where things get interesting. The next one is a, is about fourteen thousand four hundred dollars but that's all the way back here on the descent from the bear market from the crash once you get above this once you get above fourteen thousand four hundred the next line is sixteen thousand one hundred so the point is if we can actually get above sixteen thousand it looks to me like the next target is sixteen thousand dollars and i believe and i've said Somewhere in between fourteen and fifteen thousand dollars is probably where we could see a rejection. Probably between fourteen and sixteen thousand. I can see Bitcoin going up to fourteen thousand six hundred and then being pushed uh, back down, and uh, you know probably kill some of the momentum temporarily before what we call moon time. Uh, but that's the point, guys. When it comes to understanding the prices that these traders are throwing out, they're not random numbers. There's a reason. There's a method to the madness. And it will have to do whether it is on a horizontal line or a diagonal line that looks kind of like a flag or a pennant. Uh, some people call them channels. Uh, these are things that you really need to understand when you're looking around Twitter, you're watching YouTube, you're trying to figure out what traders are talking about. When they're throwing out prices, you should really reverse engineer that and go to a chart. This is how you can learn how to do some very simple TA and figure out where did they get that number from. And that can point you in the right direction on how to chart, how to do technical analysis, and really what it all boils down to, make money in crypto. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like. Also, down below, drop some comments and some suggestions. 
for some topics that we can cover on this Bitcoin Explained series where we look into simple crypto concepts for beginners. Also, don't forget to visit CryptoForDudes.com to learn more about the regular guys' guide to crypto. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good boy out.